Hi everyone and welcome back to Taekwondo Step by Step. Okay, what is it we're doing here? Obviously we're stretching. Remember, always before we start working out, we need to stretch. So first begin with our necks, then with our shoulders. It's always very important to stretch. If we don't stretch, we could do some serious damage, okay? So make sure even before the program starts to exercise. Move right from your neck to your shoulders, arms, to your waist, okay? And all the way down to your legs. But it's time now for us to start, so we'll have to get into it right now. Now we're going to go through everything that we did on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Let's have a look, shall we? You all learn aremaki before, right? But as today is the first day we're learning Tegugojang, I'll explain the proper movements again for you. The form is called Wen Apgubi Aremaki. Balancing yourself on your right leg, you turn to your left for the blanc. For the wind-up, you cross your arms like this. The left fist top facing down and the right fist top facing up, right below the left elbow. But remember not to raise your arms abruptly. You should go through the motion smoothly. At this instant, you shift your stance to the apgubi, half bending the leg like this, and follow through with the block. Another thing to remember is that if you make the block from just a standing posture, you won't be able to get the exact stride for the stance. What you should do is to pivot lightly on your right leg and then follow through with the block. All right, the next move is called Bejumok Nerechigi. You usually do a striking move with the inner part of your arms. And for the Mejumok Nerechigi, you raise the blocking arm and have it come up from below the other hand to strike the opponent. It looks like this. Good. At the point of striking, a lot of people make the mistake of losing their balance as their posture looks something like this. Uh, the right form should be like this. Your upper body should be somewhat diagonal to the direction of the attack. It should be about 140 degrees. From here, maintaining your balance, you turn to the other side for the block, pivoting on your left leg. The completed stance is called the apgubi. Now the next step is to twist your right arm in a circular motion. Think of the situation where the opponent is grabbing your blocking arm. You need to break free from his grip in order to attack. So pulling him toward you, you automatically shift to an oronsogi stance. The angle of the feet is 90 degrees and is originally made by twisting your right leg from a narani sogi. It'll look like this. You make a big arc. You aim for the different parts of the body according to the size of your opponent. If she is much taller than yourself, you should attack his arm or shoulder. And otherwise, you should attack the weak spots like his forehead. Let's try it now. Hey! The Bejumok Neruchigi, this is a very important move. People normally call the different moves we learn in Taekwondo real life self-defense. But people practicing Taekwondo call it Mumpulgi. This Mejumong Nerechigi is a good example of Mumpulgi. Next, you change to a Wen Apkubi Sogi and you make the wind up like this. Your left hand close to your shoulder and your right hand twisting up to your shoulder like this. And you make a big arc. All right, now I don't have to explain the exact posture, do I? Since we've gone through it so many times before, right? Next is the consecutive momtong ammaki. In the same manner, you make the wind up, withdrawing both your arms at the same time. Okay, now keep in mind that this consecutive momtong maki is actually a single move that should be done promptly, one after another. Now let's do them as they actually should be done, simultaneously. Try not to just go through the gestures like this. A full wind-up is always the key to improving your form and making your move effective. Okay, how was that? Did you keep up? I hope so. Everything now from Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday we've gone through. Remember while we're doing it that the meaning of Tegek Ojang 
is the wind, okay, the source of the wind. So what we want to do is through all of our different moves, we want to bring in the power of the wind and have it move as we do everything. Sounds pretty cool, hey? Well, remember that now, and we'll go through everything that we did in Thursday and Friday. From now, as this form is a block, we will move on to an attack by doing the apchagi. You all know how to do that, right? You lift your foot like this, and with your front sole, you kick the opponent's sternum. And then after the kick, while setting your foot down, you do the tungjumokchigi, aiming for the area below his nose. Ha! The final sequence was the block. And now, the following moves are all identical, except that you'll be kicking with your left foot, which is natural as you're advancing forward. Hey! And next, we will be doing the Tungjumok Apchigi while advancing forward. You have already learned this in the basic forms, but I'll explain it to you once again. Okay, from here, for the move, you have to, your arms should look like this with the right arm placed below and the left arm on top. And going through the wind-up, you step forward when your right fist is about to clear the area below your armpit. Remember now to strike straight forward without twisting the arm. Don't forget you're going after the area right below the opponent's nose, which is a crucial weak spot. The Hansonal Pakamaki. Okay, you remember this dance, right? The Dvikubi. The next step is the palgub dolyochigi, where you literally use your elbow to strike the opponent. The moves are done in sequence, blocking first, then attacking. Now, where would you strike with your elbow? You got it, you strike either the opponent's chin or temple. When you actually strike, it isn't effective to use your right arm only. So what you do is to support your left arm, uh, to support the striking arm. You must be careful not to lose your balance. Okay, through all that, did you bring together the power of the wind? I hope so. Well, that's it for today, that's it for this week, and of course, the weekend is upon us. Now, many of us, over the weekend, we release our stress with a, a kickback of the old amber fluid, but instead of that, let me suggest for you, this weekend, release your stress instead of with alcohol, to do it with exercise. It's much better for your health, and if you're going to drive, well, let's face it, it's a lot better that way too. But anyway, Mellow out over the weekend, and we'll catch you again next week on Taekwondo, <laughs> step by step.